Hey guys, what's up? So many are asking, what is this new weekly diamond pass? Is it worth buying? What are the requirements? Let's find out by buying one. So you'll need to use your Google Play account that is linked to a payment method. In my case, it's linked to Gcash. So it costs 99 pesos or 2 US dollars. After you buy, a claim button will appear that gives you 30 diamonds, 30 Starlight Score, and a Choice Bundle. The Starlight Score is used to level up your Starlight Pass. And the bundle will contain this selection of items. We have too much Magic Dust already, so I'll go for Crystal of Aurora instead. And those are the things you can get daily. The pass lasts for 7 days, which means you'll get a total of 210 diamonds and 70 crystals of Aurora. Not bad for 99 pesos, right? With the normal top up, 99 pesos can only give you 110 diamonds. But there are some things you should know about the pass. First is that you need to claim it daily. Based on the rules, if you miss a day, you will not be able to claim the rewards at the later time. Next thing you need to know is that there are two kinds of pass. If you're only going for a one-time pass, you should buy this one. It will expire after 7 days. If you're planning to do it consecutively, this pass is what you should get because it automatically renews your pass after it expires. And it will renew continuously until you turn it off on your Google Play settings. Last one is about the recharge events. Will the diamonds from this pass count in recharge event? If we look at the rules, it states that it's not included in recharge tasks. Too bad though, we could have saved diamonds for the upcoming KOF event. So for 99 pesos, I think it's worth the price, especially if you're going for draw events that require crystals of Aurora. Examples are Zodiac Summon, New Arrival, and Grand Collection. So what can you say about the weekly Diamond Pass? Is it worth buying? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.